And today, I'm going to be reading you The Legend of the Puffle Bubble. <laughs> um, I haven't written a book in a long time. Ever since 2018 when I wrote Pillow Man, but I destroyed the book. Don't ask. Anyways, here is the cover. I drew King Ready, which is him. And so I'm going to be reading this to you. Okay, it starts off. To my special friends, Austin Lewis. That's me. So, chapter one, the beginning. A long time ago, there were multiple species of puff muggles. The Unimund, Bimund, the Trimund, and lastly, the Guamund. This took place around 2000 BCE in North America. The Unimund, the Unimund and the Bimund went extinct. But the Trimund and the Guamund, so that's page one. I'm just recording this just in case I, this, something happens to this book. So, plus I, it took, I don't know how many days, I didn't count. Alright, next page. The Trimund and the Quadman had wars with each other for survival. The wars were brutal. Village burnings, castle invasions, and sadly, bloody deaths. Again, and then here's a comparison of this. Both sides were greedy, for needs, of course, but it led to a triumphant defeat, in which living quadrants the only ones left. So here it is. Here's a longer look at it. Pause the video if you need to, because I already moved it away from the camera, so... Also, I'm still using this, uh, computer camera, so don't judge. Don't judge a book by its cover. Chapter 2, ready. Here's what I cringe of. Um. Uh, morning, ready. Chuck said with a strange grin. This is the model. Tis, tis lovely to have you as our new king. Ready nodding. T Tis lovely to have you here. Ready replied. The village was beautiful, and it was the last ever pub village. Sorry, I'm just cringing. Because this part I wrote like a month ago. Yeah, I'm grounded right now, so I'm just recording this. So I'll upload this when I need to. Or when I'm ungrounded. Reddy is the new king of the village. Chuck ran down the castle grinning. Reddy. Wait, no. Yeah, Reddy came down. He was outside. The entire village was happy. Nothing had bothered them since 1555 AD. They tested their weapons just in case something big would attack. They always thought nothing would attack them ever again. Are they lying? Well, it's pretty obvious that they're lying, so... Not gonna lie. Puffs of all fur colors always said a good morning to Reddy. Every time he came out, a storm occurred and everyone went inside their little, own little homes. Right now it's 9-11. Uh, September 11th. Uh, and this... Soonly takes place in New York. I'm recording this on September 11th. I will not forgive myself making a video of a music video over that. Don't ask. Don't look all the way back in front of uh, when my, my first video. So don't look back at that, please. Please don't. Just please don't. Okay. Reddy heard a rustle. He, did, he decided to see what it was. It was a man with a gun pointing right at Reddy. They shouted. Who goes there? Chapter 3. Which. It resumes. Okay, so it goes to chapter 3 right here. Chapter 4 is sad, just a heads up. 
So, be warned. The man opened fire as Reddy quickly ran behind a tree as thunder crashed. The man seemed to multiply. One with a strange hat, one taller, one smaller. Page 6. The men charged forward with their rifles. They were humans. Reddy quickly ran back to the village. Peck! The bullet missed Reddy. Dang it! The first man said. They're puffle muggles, the second man replied. So the legend's true, eh? Said the third man. Yeppers, peppers! The other two replied. Soon they shall be food for the future. Later on, Reddy gongs the emergency bell in the castle as puffs gathered round. Reddy announced. Humans are planning to attack. Prepare a lockdown. They all prepared, but the humans came. Chuck, Reddy, and the puffs were all terrified. So, here we go. Okay, chapter four. The attack. Peck, peck, peck. Three puffs were fired at and killed. One man said houses on fire, while the other two said the castle on fire. More puffs were killed. The sky and everything was engulfed in flames. What I mean by the sky and everything was engulfed in flames is that um, everything was all furious, all on fire. It affected the sky, so it looked orangish. The Puff Army came and used their fireball catapult at them. The men somehow dodged it. The entire Puff Army was then killed. Assholes, man, assholes. They just come and invade your privacy. I mean, that's an example right there, but this is the Puff Muggle world. Uh, I may create a video on explaining my entire imagination uh, plot story. And I can show you my later drawings. Yeah, I may make a video on me explaining my imagination. Uh, my entire universe. I'll explain Oster and Juno, this, Planet Hero, and Pillman. I do have two others, but I, eh, I just didn't allow them. Chapter 5 The Flea. Reddy ran while the survivors followed him. Reddy and the survivors then stopped at this red truck with a New York license plate. First Ben on jumped in the truck's bed to find a map. I chose a random place for their kingdom, so don't ask. It was a map of the United States. The Puff Village slash Kingdom was in West Virginia, in a forest. It also showed the men's home, which is in New York City. For we must travel, said Reddy. Chuck Perspanon, Jack Bell, Purvis Alice, Zane Bart, Ben Fell, and Gelvin all agreed to Reddy. So it must begin, all shouted. And then here it is. Yes, I came up with all these names. The men came with dead puff bodies. Ready and the survivors hid. The men stopped, started the truck, and they all hopped in. There it is again. Chapter. Sorry, <laughs> I'm having that speech, that speech issue again. Where if I do the or j j, slobber gets in my throat. So. Yeah, sometimes my grammar isn't good because I'm not focusy. I'm just lazy. Well, I'm not. I am not lazy right now, uh, recording this video. But yeah, this is just a background on the Legend of the Puff Model. I just wrote this book, so keep in mind, I am recording this just in case something happens to this book, and a not happy September 11th to you. This was recorded on 9-11, so... Yeah, I said that like three times now. How annoying am I? Chapter 6, The Travel. 
Randy and the survivors were silently in the truck's bed. They were on an interstate highway, slowly. It's also because I had got allergies and the boogers. No, I'm not going to explain that because they don't like boogers. Slowly heading towards New York City. The men never realized the puffs were in the back. During the trouble, puffs played card games, not even realizing they were already in Pennsylvania. Boom! The truck stumbled a little. We're already 10 minutes and 30 seconds in. The truck stopped at a public gas station. The puffs hid well. Later on, there it is, New York City. Can you guess what chapter 7 is? New York City. If you want to skip me chatting about random things, just go to the timelines and they put in the video's description. I'll make sure to remember that. Chapter 7, New York City. Lots of people, buildings tall and small, the trucks stopped at this building. Three men butchery. My mom thought that said butchery, but okay. The bus. The bus. The puffs disguised as humans. Sorry, I'm just cringing a little. I don't like it. The puffs managed to find out that the men were cooking puffs for food illegally. They were shocked the minute they found that out. Someone else walked in. Is it your mama? <laughs> Anyways, here you go. Chapter 8, new friend. He was a human, but he seemed to be against the three men. Ready to come up to the man, he whispered. Can we talk outside, please? The man replied. Okay. The puffs took off their disguises. Puffle muggles? Oh my goodness, yes! I am James, a working detective for the New York Police Department, and you are? Ready answer. These three men killed my citizens. They also burned my village, our village, our home. I am King Ready. James replied, Thank you. These troublemakers are exactly who I am looking for. Page 22. James said, Let's spy on these men so we can report what we see to the New York Police Department. Ready and the survivors agreed. Chapter 9. The Spying. At first, they saw people eating regular, regular food. Then they started seeing people eat puff moments. They never knew they were eating puffs. There you go. James went in his car. The puffs also went in his car. They drove off to the New York Police Department. Later, they got to the station. James and the puffs talked to the cops about the situation. The cops didn't seem to listen. So the cops went to investigate. The cops somehow found nothing suspicious with the three men. Even investigating. Damn cats at my door. Sorry. So James and the Puffs went to James' house. The Puffs had an idea to take pictures. James thought the idea was perfect. So they went shopping for supplies. We need, most importantly, a photographic camera. Fucking parents are interrupting. Chapter 10. Shopping. The puffs disguised as humans and walked into the store with James. Act like us, James whispered, strolling the car through the store. So the puffs kept their little mouths shut. Like I should every day. Chuck noticed the three men walked in the store. Chuck then warned James and the puffs... Eventually, James and the Puffs successfully got their items and exited the store. There it is. Chapter 11! Foolproof. In a matter of time, James took several disturbing images of the three men's cruel choices. It was sad, very sad. Approximately 50 Puffs were killed each day. For the three men butchery, for their secret recipe. Is it really secret? I don't know. Is it? Yes, the first man said. Vaults locked, baby.
second man replied. Our guns, money, and everything. Nobody will know, the third man said. James and the Puffs soon lay rushed through the station with full proof. King Reddy stepped onto the interrogation table with disturbing images in his hands. The cops grew surprised and angered, so they decided to make a plan, a good plan. Chapter 12! Busted! Like I am right now. Busted. It. Never mind! They all came up with the plan, so they use it. Later, the cops, James and Reddy and his puffs, all arrived at the three men butchery. When nobody was there but the three men, a cop, a cop walked in. If you are under arrest, the cop noticed the vault and pulls out his Desert Eagle pistol. I will seize fire if you surrender. Therefore, if you don't, I will open fire. The men pull out a minigun. Never, motherfucker. The cop shoots at his leg three times. One of the two other men pick up the minigun and fire, but the cop hides and shoots them both in the stomach. They are both stunned. So the cop arrests all three men and takes them to prison for 80 years. All thanks to Reddy and James, Puffle Muggle population is, is, is restored. I can't even speak. It's getting worse every day. The news spread it across the country first, but as time passes, the world received it. This legend of the Puffle is true. So humans have a new friend. Chapter 13. Two months later. Morning, Reddy, James, Chuck, and the others shouted happily. Reddy wakes up with excitement. A new day. By now, Puffle Muggles are a new pet in the world. Everyone gathers around the table to eat breakfast. Two months ago was crazy, remember? Said Reddy. I know. From a kingdom to a miracle, the puffs reply. Page 40. King Reddy, James said. Yes, replied Reddy. If you are King Reddy, you'd be a good leader. James said happily. We agree. He was a great king when our kingdom existed, replied the Puffs. Thank you, thank you, Reddy replied. Let's hear it for Reddy, James and the Puffs shouted. Huzzah! The three men are in prison with no escape. They suffer each day and night. They've clearly found something illegal. Oh wait, they've clearly done something illegal. Holy shit! They shall never be forgiven. Let's go outside, Gilvin said happily. So they all went outside. Later, it was almost night, as everyone had a good time outside in New York City. It was night and everyone went inside, but Gelvin didn't. Gelvin heard a rustle. What was that? Gelvin said. Gelvin also heard a growl, so he decided to see what it was. What's that? Gelvin said all scared. The creature jumped onto Gelvin to be continued. New home for ye Puffle Muggles from the past. So there's the legend of the Puffle Muggle. I hope you enjoyed. So in my next video, I'll be explaining my entire universe and explaining the first one of Austro Rinchino through the sixth one, which is the last one of Austro Rinchino. Now I'm going to be explaining the Planet Hero universe, the Pillow Man universe, and the Legion of the Puff Muggle universe too. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to do an old-fashioned closeout like I used to do. Bye!